it's, it's fantastic. I mean, it looks amazing, but it's not what Scotland used to be. Scotland used to be a great forest, you know, and as much of Britain did. That forest was slowly ripped out by centuries of shipbuilding and industry. Paul Lister wants to return this land to how it once was, and as well as already planting nearly a million trees, he plans to release and control animals that have long since disappeared. The large carnivores that were once present that made up the ecosystem, such as wolves, bears and lynx, were shot out of extinction. And uh, our vision is to create a large scale, 50,000 acre fenced wilderness reserve and to bring back uh, wolves and possibly bears. Like many who favor rewilding such as this, Paul believes this would help restore the balance of nature and keep the populations of red deer in check, which have reached destructively high numbers. Now, it's not just keystone species like wolves and bears that are in the frame. Much less controversial, but just as important, is the action being taken over red squirrels here in Scotland. The red squirrel has been squeezed out of much of the British Isles by its grey counterpart. Scotland is one of the last strongholds, but even here, it's under threat. Within Scotland, there's this situation that pretty much the whole of the northwest doesn't have any red squirrels. Um, and so that's the aim of this project, to reintroduce them to the northwest. Um, we simply catch the squirrels in the morning, um, do a health inspection, take them across, and then release them in specially built nest boxes. It's a project that engages the local community. Colin Murdoch works on a nearby estate and keeps an eye on the new arrivals. I think it's a wonderful idea. Um, I do. Um, they've, this is, they've done it in several places now very successfully, and the squirrels have all bred where they've released them. And it's, it's, it's setting up a little population that's safe from the greys, and they should be here anyway. Back at Allerdale, red squirrels have already made a comeback. There's also a focus on wild cats. A breeding program is being attempted to help restore a national population which has dwindled to dangerously low levels. All in all, the concept of rewilding is one which, if properly managed, can help species of all sorts thrive and also perhaps help people connect with nature the way it once was. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.